We are getting really close to the Nintendo Switch's two-year anniversary, and it got me kind of reflecting back on my own gameplay on the Nintendo Switch these last couple of years. And so what I realized is when I first bought the Nintendo Switch, I was playing it mainly in docked mode. I really liked playing it on my TV, exploring the massive world of Legend of Zelda for over 500 hours on my TV was the way to go for me. However, the more games I've been picking up, the more I've been finding that I've been moving from TV to my handheld. As a result, I've been starting to see where a lot of you are coming from when you start complaining about the ergonomics of the Switch. At first, it didn't bother me because I'd play maybe an hour to an hour and a half in handheld. And gradually, I've started moving up to that three hours plus. My hands we're starting to get a little uncomfortable as far as that goes. And so I started looking for some Switch grips that I could add on to my Nintendo Switch to make it feel a lot better and to add a lot more comfort. And so I went on to Amazon and I found out there were two Switch grips that were really, really popular. One of them I had heard a lot about because almost every major YouTuber out there is using it, and that is the Satisfy grip, and that will be coming in later this week. However, the one I got today for you is the Skull & Co. grip case, and I'm really excited to review this one for you because it beat all of my expectations. All right, so taking a look at what you get in the packaging here, basically, uh, this is the box right here. Um, honestly, there's there's nothing really too special about this box. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, one thing I, I think they could have done to make this better is I ordered the gray grips. And as you can see, they did the red and the blue uh, neon grips, which are an option as well. You can order these in red and blue, in the Mario colors, in basically any Joy-Con that's been out, even up to the Pikachu and Eevee ones you can go ahead and order them in those colors. And you can buy additional grips so you can alternate your colors too if you so choose without having to buy an extra case, which I really think is a neat touch to be able to add. In fact, I may buy the red and blue ones at some point because I did go ahead and just for my, my travel Joy-Cons so I didn't have to use my expensive Zelda Joy-Cons, I did go ahead and I bought myself the neon ones again because I think those neon colors look really, really good. Anyways, um, when I opened it up, there was just this wrapper in here. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't wait for the unboxing. I just, I, I couldn't wait. I was super excited to try this out. Um, but inside this little wrapping was just the case. And inside of the, the case was that. Now, I think it's important to mention at this particular time that you can get two different versions of this Skull & Co. case. You can either get just the case itself, which costs you somewhere around the vicinity of $18 on Amazon right now. And that's not too terribly bad there. However, if you would like to go with their, their case, which that's a really nice case, by the way, it's, it's really well built. And I, I totally think it's worth it if you're planning on taking this grip with you on the go. Um, you can buy the, the case and the grip together for $40. So as far as getting this on and off, it's really easy. You just, you know, like any other case, you kind of just plop it on on. And the only thing I would say is that the triggers, you know, that's the area you have to watch because sometimes they like to get caught on there and it won't fully go on. And if it doesn't go fully on, you know, you might have some issues with your gameplay. This is very, very secure. I don't feel like this is going to pop out at all. Um, one thing I did notice, and I don't think this is a big deal, but because they wanted to make it easy to get in and out of the case, what they did do is they did make it a little loose on the top and on the bottom. That's just for ease of getting it in and out. However, where it's important, around the sides here, around the Joy-Cons, that is tight. That is really, really secure. And when I'm playing, I don't notice the top and the bottom because I'm not touching up here or down here. I mean, maybe if you're playing a touchscreen game, you would notice, but I'm not really doing anything down there. So it's actually really, really easy and comfortable. One of the things I've really liked about this grip in comparison to other grips is that the grips are on the back and they just extend backwards. They don't extend out, which a lot of these cases have extended out this way. And to me, that just feels uncomfortable. And that's partially one of the reasons why I don't think the Satisfy case, even with its asymmetrical design, is going to be for me. I mean, I actually really like the width of the Switch as is, and I don't mind this, this placement right here. It's mainly my back fingers that get uncomfortable from the flat surface. And so having this grip back here really worked nicely for me. So let's move into these triggers here, right? So you got the, you know, the basically 
you can even kind of see when I pull back here, these are, let's see if I can get it to pull back. These are covering the actual triggers. And so the big thing is a lot of reviewers out there were complaining about the fact that this added resistance to it and a lot of resistance that made like an actual difference to your gameplay. And I'm not sure if they've just heard customers complaints about this and actually fixed it, but my version, I mean, yeah, it's not quite as clicky, but that is very, very clicky still. You can still hear that. I, I mean, the bumper, maybe not as much as the trigger, but I have no issues whatsoever with this. Yeah, it's, it's a tiny bit more resistant, but I mean, that is still clicky enough for me to recognize that I am clicking on that button and I have no issues with that whatsoever. And the same thing kind of goes for the power button and the volume buttons. I mean, the power button I may have a little bit of issues pressing down on, but the volume rockers, I have no problem whatsoever with that. Now, I mentioned the fact that these grips are interchangeable. Most of you might have seen this by now, but all you have to do is there's these little like things that pop out right here. And basically you just squeeze those in and this pops right on out. It's super, super simple, super easy. Then you take the grip that you actually want. And I gotta be honest, this was the one that I thought I would like more because of the ridge here. But with my big hands, this ridge actually sat just a little too low for me and it actually made it just a slight bit more uncomfortable. So this one actually belongs to this side, it looks like, so I'll pop this one out. And all you gotta do to pop it back in, boom, you just clips right in. It's super simple, super easy. And then you have your different grip here ready to go. Now, the one disadvantage I will say that this particular case has is the fact that they didn't add a spot for the kickstand and this case will not stand up on its own. It's not its purpose. Its purpose is to add comfort for anybody who is playing for long periods of time in handheld mode. So, I mean, if you wanna play it in tabletop mode, you do have to take it out of the case and then put it in tabletop mode, which again, I don't think is a big deal because this thing comes off super easily. But let's get back to the comfortability side of it. I already alluded to the fact that this is by far one of the most comfortable grips that I've ever used. But in my gameplay, I did spend a lot of time specifically with shooters. I went ahead today and I checked out Splatoon 2 and Fortnite and those types of games because I really wanted to test out those triggers and really give you guys my impression of them. And as I mentioned before, they're nice and clicky. They click pretty darn well, all right? And yeah, I can see where reviewers are coming from when they say that, oh, you know, that's a little more resistant. But I think for the everyday user, it's not gonna make a difference. And I would say even for the major gamer out there, unless you're really particular about your triggers, these work nicely. They work really nicely. And I, I actually like the extra length that it gives me on the back triggers especially, because one of my major complaints with grips, one of the major things I do not like with any of the grips that I've tried before this one, is the fact that when I put the grip on, the triggers and the back triggers feel really super far back, and it makes it so I miss them, actually. It makes it feel like I can't even hit them, and with this case, by it being a case and going over the trigger buttons, it actually extends out the trigger button even further than the Joy-Cons normally do and makes it actually easier for me to hit, even if there is a little bit more resistance to those triggers. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you all in the next video.